Safety Day 2019 dirt on your cables is going to add resistance to the pull force when it's time to cut away. You can see a lot of dirt gets built up, so I'm going to show you guys how to remove it with some silicone, some paper towels. This cleaning process should uh, take maybe three or four minutes, uh, applying the silicone to the paper towel. Um, you have a couple clean paper towels because we're going to get some dirt off and we're going to want to uh, continue to clean it without uh, using a dirty paper towel. Really focusing on the middle portions and the tips of the cable housing or of the cables because once it's inside the housing and going through the three ring release system that's going to uh, cause some hold up um, if we're trying to cut away. You can see the dirt there. So after we've done a good job of cleaning it, I'm not really worried about that little dirt right there because it's really not going to affect the pool process. But you can see these cables are much cleaner now. So there's a swage ball inside of our handle. If we uh, twist it to align it just appropriately, that way we don't have any twists coming from the cable through the uh, housings, or from the handle through the housings. Looks a little bit better, not having the twists in there. I like to start off with a small cable first. It should go right through. But um, the longer cable, this is where we really need to know what we're doing. We have a sky hook uh, ready on most of our equipment and on different containers, different manufacturers, or even same manufacturers, different, um, different uh, containers built at different stages um, or different times are going to have a, a different system to allow the cable to come through your Skyhook uh, RSL system, this, the Collins lanyard. So once we've pulled it through, we can route it through our Collins lanyard um, this system right here is pretty easy to get to. Other systems where your uh, Collins lanyard is closer to the uh, top of the container on some of the older models, it pretty much puts your, your cable really close to routing through the reserve toggle. So let's make sure we know what we're doing and we're not rerouting it through uh, something that's not supposed to uh, be routed through. So we can always reverse engineer things, but I definitely recommend uh, opening up a manual to help assist us in reassembling this. Uh, the last thing we want to do is reassemble something wrong and have safety equipment not function properly. Uh, it's always advisable too to uh, take it to a, a, a rigger and you know, see if they can't double check your work or somebody you know who's uh, on the more experienced side of gear maintenance. So after we've done a, a good job of reassembling it, we reattach our handle and I definitely recommend once we get uh, under canopy that we do a good job of doing some handle checks, uh, especially if we are loosening our chest strap. It's not gonna change drastically, but uh, it will slide a little bit further aft of us, a little bit further back. And this could, you know, leads to some confusion and a crazy scenario. So just double check our handles once we have loosened our chest strap or if we're even taking it all the way off.